And welcome to Ask Bonnie. This is something we do every week on Webways where we pick a topic, answer your questions on that topic, and boy, are you smart. And you thank us later, blah, 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 you know the rest. All right, so this week we're talking about pet cockroaches. So let's go ahead and get into the first question. It's from Otto in Ontario, and he asks, why would anyone want a cockroach for a pet? Good question, but I've got answers for you, Otto. Pretty self-explanatory. First of all, they're probably going to outlive any other animal you get as a pet. We're talking goldfish, dogs, horses, pretty much everything. Cockroaches can indeed survive. Uh, they're also cheap, uh, pretty much free, depending on where you go looking for them. Unless you want some sort of Madagascar specialty breed of cockroach, the, the kind that hisses, then uh, I would just take a trip to New York City or probably just in your own backyard or even in your kitchen if you're lucky. There's probably cockroaches all over the place. You don't even know it. And uh, not only are they cheap and pretty easy to find, uh, they don't make any noise. Not really. They don't bark or meow or constantly want your attention. They're very entertaining, kind of like an ant farm because they're just all over the place and they just eat and walk around. And if you turn a bright light on them, they run away. So that could be kind of entertaining. And also they're disgusting. So if you're just trying to get a pet to upset relatives or friends, cockroach will probably do it. So there's your answers, Otto. All right, second question is from Frank in Phoenix, and he asks, how do you keep your pet cockroach from infesting your house? Uh, this is good. You probably, you know what, you probably just want to get one of those unescapable cages. Um, so just build a house for him that he can't escape, and that's probably the only way you can keep him from infesting your house with all his buddies. Uh, also, just keep an eye on him. You know, don't let him run loose in the house. Uh, he's not like a cat or a dog. He's probably just going to go right under the fridge and start, you know, breeding with his buddies. So keep him under wraps. And also you don't want to have him be uh, out in the open in his cage. Give him some things to hide underneath in his nice little cage uh, so he feels like it's his own little home because there's no place like a cockroach home. All right. Last question is from Sally in Seattle, and she asks, um, what do you feed a cockroach? Pretty much anything. If you have a kitchen and there's crumbs on the floor, there's probably cockroaches nearby. Uh, they eat, they're not picky eaters, so they pretty much eat anything. Though, I did read on a few sites that uh, cockroaches really love dog food. So if you have extra dog food, go ahead. Or some friskies, maybe. I don't know, some cat food. Just go ahead and treat it a king. Because who knows, when cockroaches rule the world, maybe your uh, good deeds will earn you nice ranking in the cockroach world. All right, so that's Ask Bonnie for this week. If you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to send them my way. And also, if you want to see at Sock in some peculiar adventures, go ahead, suggest some. The holidays are coming around the corner, so I'm sure we could think of some fun things for at Sock and his family uh, to go through.